So, you guys, I was editing some of my clips. I've been doing some vlogs because, um, as you heard me say before, the stores are crazy to the point to where I don't feel comfortable filming only because... I'm keeping an eye on mom. She's always with me. She likes to go to the stores um, just to get out of the house. I don't blame her. But um, it's a little rough out there. And things are changing so quickly. We just got notified. And I just saw it on my neighborhood Facebook app that um, schools... Our local schools will be closing this Wednesday. My daughter-in-law was texting me a little while ago telling me that her department, um, I guess they're cutting back, or not cutting back, but taking all these precautions, which will leave her at home more. And um, she said that she's heard PG&E. Our electric service will be um, not shutting people off. Uh, understanding that, you know, um, a lot of people will be home instead of going to work. I don't believe my department's going to be that way because of where I work and what we do. I can almost honestly say I won't stop working. I'll actually be working a little bit more because, again, because of the nature of my department. Um, I can't sleep. I woke up. I did doze off earlier. That's I am in bed, obviously. I'm going to, uh, and obviously I'll be trying to edit this as best as possible. But I am in bed. Um, I've been researching, not researching, just, you know, looking online I don't trust the news anymore. I haven't for a long time. So I pick and choose what I want to, who I want to listen to, who I want to believe, uh, who I talk to about things. And I've also been seeing a lot of messages going out to the YouTubers, uh, asking all YouTubers not to stop because there's a lot of people like me, um, that trust people over the media. Uh, right now I'm pretty angry at the media because they are the ones that are feeding into, feeding the fear into the people and, you know, hence what we're experiencing. Um, I have some clips of empty shelves at grocery stores because of the panic shoppers. Um, I picked up on that vibe too. I'm not gonna, I'm not innocent from that. I did get, I got, I'm calm because I have my toilet paper and I have my bottled water to make sure we have water and stuff. Um, Facebook is monitoring things also that I've posted and it kind of, um, I got angry about it. And one of the posts that I post was a medical advice telling people or describing, you know, about the virus, a little bit about the virus, that it'll sit in the throat. And they're encouraging people, the medical people are encouraging that we sip water frequently. Do not let our throats get dry. Sip water because the virus will sit there for, I, I forget how long. And if you sip water, you drink it down, and your stomach acid will kill it. So that way it doesn't, you know, get into the lung eventually. So it just gets washed down with, if you keep sipping water. Don't, you know, drink, over drink, you know, to where you're always running to the bathroom to pee, like me, because that's what, what'll happen to me. But they are, um, look at me, I'm going, they're encouraging that we sip water frequently so i i put a post about that on on my facebook wall and facebook 
uh, is monitoring or there they put a something over it saying that it's partially fake uh, some facts but also fake and I'm like what this is coming from the, I and I, I work with medical professionals I work with doctors and nurses I work in the medical field and that is what they have been saying they i have some some uh, rns that i work with have been doing a lot of heavy duty research um for many reasons um obviously but and that is one of the main things that they're saying keep your throat from getting dry sip water frequently so god forbid if you happen to be where a spore of it you know lands in your mouth um where i guess that's how it mostly gets transmitted i don't know you know but i'm just following what my medical professional friends that i talk to plus what i have been seeing and reading myself um and that is one of the main things is sip water and don't let your throat get dry also common sense we all you know it's almost like we're all having to revert back to common sense as as doing things like um wiping our doorknobs inside and out all our doorknobs in our homes um wiping our keys things that we use frequently that pick up germs our cell phones wipe it down really good sanitize it our car door handles our steering wheels um just anything that you um unconsciously use you know how we are almost like on automatic pilot when we're driving because we know we're all you know, you know just wipe down everything almost daily um twice daily if you're a bit of a germaphobe i i'm kind of there now i used to be lightly germaphobe what i refer to as lightly now i'm pretty much a germaphobe um because of the fear that the media is feeding into my brain i like i i'm up i did fall asleep i am in bed I know I told you in, in um, Saturday's clip that I was going to come back and talk to you. And that's kind of what I, you know, I just wanted to put it out there. Um, I went with my coworker on Friday. We went to the other Costco to go do our normal weekly purchase for our clients, our clientele. We, um, feed them and we also feed homeless people that come to the door they're hungry they know they can come to us and we feed them so we always keep our client kitchen stocked and um i i'm gonna put some clips in right now of that morning that morning that my coworker and i went out there just getting into the parking lot was worse than the day i took my mom and that was uh let's see i took my mom we went tuesday things were gone but it wasn't scary crazy but it was kind of crazy okay so we go back wednesday which you already saw that um except for the fact that i didn't film inside when people were running with all and pushing those heavy carts and baskets I couldn't focus on filming that I wish I wish I did I wish I was able to do that um, but I didn't so I go with my coworker, and I did pull my camera out because we got there an hour early before the store opened I was telling her we got to go you know early to make sure we can get you know in the shorter line and the up closer being that we were working because you know we all we need to get back to work and <laughs> can't be fighting the crowds out there all day so we get there an hour early the line it has two lines 
one that goes went one way and the other around all the way through the back parking lot all the way to the back of the store into the neighborhood past the canal like two blocks down one hour early and her and I were like we're not going to walk all the way over there just to get in a line so we go right back to the front I filmed that so in fact I'll put it in right right here right now Okay, so th you can see the traffic. The cars are in there are crazy. The people are crazy. People are fighting, um, verbally yelling, uh, uh, threatening each other. A uh, girl up front telling every, yelling at the other people that were in line saying, don't let anybody in. You better not let them. I'm going to beat your ass. Well, I mean, things like that. And I'm like, thinking to myself, have we gotten to this point, you guys? That's why I'm angry at the media. Because that's what they're doing to people. They're feeding fear in that. That's just, like I say, each day it's a little bit worse. Just a little bit worse. I took mom the other day and we went to... I'm sorry. We went to the PetSmart. I went to go get some um, baby kitty formula. Because I'm trying to make my kitty feel better. Whole other story. I'll talk about that later. But uh, we went over there. And I could see Walmart parking lot was. There was no parking in the parking lot. So Petco is on one side. It's in between Walmart and Winco. And, or not Winco. Food Max. Is that what it's called I think. Food Max had a line. I mean, there, the parking lot, there was parking lot spaces, but there was a line outside. So I was impressed with that, that part that they only let so many shoppers in at a time. Each store has taken precautions and that made me happy. I was telling mom as we were driving by, slowly driving by. They're making sure that their shoppers are going to be safe and nobody's going to be pushing, shoving, or fighting over anything. And I'm sure they're rationing inside as well, saying, you know, you can only take two or one or whatever to make sure that there's plenty for others to get what they need. Today, my mom went outside. We let um, our sick kitty, the one that's really super sick, he's actually been on the mend. Um, he... I was giving him the formula and he, and he got a little bit better and things were working as far as all of his little body things. Um, he, he's smelling food. He's drinking water on his own out of the bowl, which is something he hadn't been doing. So these were little baby improvements. Um, we let him outside, uh, the day before yesterday for a little bit and he, and for about an hour. And then he, we brought him back in. He kind of stayed close to the house. Today we did the same thing because he was even better today. But he didn't come back. So I'm just super duper worried for him. Um, I keep popping my head out there and hollering for him. My neighbors probably think I'm cuckoo. But anyway, mom went out there to do the same thing earlier before it's, the sun went down. One of my neighbors came and he said, Hey, Mary, are you do you guys doing okay in there? And she's like, Yeah, hi, how are you doing? How are you guys doing? He goes, I'm fine. He goes, But I want you to come to us. Come to me if you need anything, anything at all. And oh my god, that just I tears came to my eyes when she came in to tell me that. Um we have some seniors, us being some of them, uh, that live here in this neighborhood, in this cul-de-sac. And um, 
the fact that the neighbors are looking out for each other just means the world. Um, I also read on my, cause it, like, we have a, a group as well in Facebook, this neighborhood. And one of the girls, no, it wasn't in there. It was, which covers several neighborhoods on this side of town, or I guess all over town. I don't know. I'm not too familiar with it, but I do have it. I don't look in it that much, but I saw where this one girl was offering to the elderly. She goes, you guys can contact me here. If you need me to drive you to the store or go to the store for you or get your meds or do anything at all, no charge. I'm here to help. Um, that was just, again, you know, my eyes just teared up. I'm thinking, that's what we need to be doing is looking out for each other, doing all the common sense things like I was talking about, sanitizing our house, our hands, our doorknobs, just basic things, our cars, our keys, things that we handle all the time. Look out for the elderly people that um, can't go out there and fight the crowds and, and, and handle being pushed by baskets, you know, people ramming into your back or the back of your feet or the side, your hip. I mean, that all that happened to me in one shopping thing. I know I'm jumping all the way around, you guys. Um, going back to my coworker and I that day, we went back up to the front of the store and stood there and I was filming and she was calling the manager, asked, saying, hey, we're not here for water. We're not here for toilet paper. We're here to pick up our weekly supply with our, I forget what she called it. Cause we don't go in with the, with a membership card. We go in with a printout. It's an account that the county has with them. So, um, and she says, we're here with, you know, that paper, what she calls it. And they said, nope, sorry. You have to stand out there with everybody. I'm like, oh my God. So we kind of sort of pushed and shoved our way in politely, but we got in and we got our, our supply for work and got out of there. It took forever to get out of that parking lot. Now on that note, I had already from the, when mom and I went the first time to Costco this week, going back. I had ordered a cake for the family function that we had this Saturday. And I had ordered it to be ready for pickup Saturday morning. When I ordered the cake, I didn't realize I'm going to have to stand in that line too. <laughs> it was crazy. It's like me and Costco have been seeing each other a lot this week. Um, so I got back to work that day and I called Costco and I said, look, am I going to have to stand in that water toilet paper line out there in the morning just to get my cake? I'm not going to buy anything else other than my cake that I ordered. And they said, yeah, you're going to have to stand out there. So, uh, but she said, you know what, if you can want to pick it up tonight, I'll, I'll get your order ready. I'm like, okay, I'll pick it up. Get it ready for me. I get off of work at 7.30. And she's like, yeah. Well, so that's what I did. I got off work, got my cake, and took it home. I'm so, I'm so tired, you guys. But, you know, like I said, my mind is racing so much. I don't want to worry. I don't want to be fearful. I don't want you guys to worry or be fearful. But we kind of have to, um, we have to be responsible for ourselves, um, as far as making sure that we're taking precautions where for the germs, you know, to keep ourselves and our loved ones germ free, um, sipping water. Make sure your throat doesn't get dry. Um, and that maybe we do have a little bit of stockpile. Not a lot. I'm not saying rice out there, push and shove and buy as much as you can. No. 
what I'm saying is make sure that you have plenty for your family um, and your pets too because you're you know all our fur babies depend totally on us we'll see what tomorrow brings I mean this thing everything is everything changes like within every 30 minutes to two hours you turn on the news or somebody's calling you calling, oops or someone's calling and saying uh, turn on the news or listen to this or they just said this or this just, just just changed I still don't know what to do you guys ration yourselves ration the food you do have at home to make sure that there will be food for everybody including your fur babies if you have to cook for them too um, if, you know if the if you run out of their food and and you can't get to the stores or you know cook for them too um right now where you can still have vegetables and fruits eat up your vegetables and fruits keep your immune system strong um take vitamin c i uh read some place where pine needles you can make a tea out of pine needles and that's loaded with vitamin c even way more than an orange has you know but load up on vitamin c kiwis have a lot of vitamin c um do some research you probably see my mess right there i'm organizing and i have i have stuff right there on the floor in my room Anyway, you guys, I'm not organizing now. Boy, I'm telling you, I'm rattling all over the place. I want to keep doing my videos. I want to keep going to Dollar Tree and film. I'm super curious to go see what my Dollar Tree looks like right now. I might go in the morning and, and go film. We'll see. Stay safe, you guys. Mm -hmm.